Okay, um, you take a life, mm-hmm. and and it's not it's not normal. I mean, it's no. not like you shot a guy with a nine millimeter, and mm-hmm. you know, th- th- there's a small hole, but he bled out. Mm-hmm. This guy mm-hmm. literally can fit into a gallon jar. Yeah, yeah. Number one, I gotta believe you had nightmares, to say the least. And number two. Who do you even talk to about this? Like, do you call anybody? Is there a uh, uh, psychologist on hand for, for you guys? Like, who do you who do you have a conversation with? Yeah, so I had a nightmare that night. After I did it, I didn't think much about it. Um, it's not that I didn't think about it. I, it just didn't feel the way I thought it was gonna feel. Like, I didn't really feel much of anything. Um, But that night I had a a pretty terrifying dream where that man was the uh, uh, the ceiling fan in my room and his head was the centerpiece. And as the ceiling fan spun faster and faster is where he ripped apart the way I envisioned him ripped apart and blown, you know, in that vehicle. And he just doused me in in my room with all the blood. Uh, That was that dream. But as far as talking to anyone, the only person I talked to was my dad on a, I think it was Yahoo Messenger. And I had messaged him, hey, I killed someone. And he was just like, you probably shouldn't talk about that. And I was like, all right, you're probably right. But other than that, there was no one to talk to or there's no psychiatrist or anything like that. Okay, and so this, did, no, yeah. go, go ahead, I'm so sorry, go ahead. If you if you did talk to anyone, you would be looked down upon. Um, you'd get weeded out pretty quick. If you talked about, how you like felt bad about it you you get you get looked at a certain way okay you got to help me understand this and again i i don't do what you guys do um Mm -hmm. i would think that it would be human nature i mean i understand that that we're at war it's expected that you're going to take a life Mm -hmm. but you're also a human being um You know, yeah, I have to I have to live with the fact that, that I just turned a man into jello. I didn't just kill him. He's jello. You're mm-hmm. telling me if you speak about this, you are looked down on? Big time, big time. If you see a psychiatrist, like you lost your job. And you that means you can't you can't deal with the task that we're gonna be doing. Like it's guaranteed in our job that you're gonna be doing these certain things. If you can't hack it now then we don't need you um that emotional side but if you talk to us we would talk to a psychiatrist after every deployment when we got back and talk to them means first you have to fill out this paperwork they ask have you done this have you seen this we were always told by our leadership to like lie about that stuff so we could go home early and tell the psychiatrist everything's fine there's nothing wrong Unless you are a whatever, then you can, but you're going to keep everybody at work and you're not going to be here uh, continuing this job. Well, they'll ship you off somewhere else and it's called to the needs of the army. Like they'll find another job for you, but you just would never have that job again. So it was highly looked down upon to go talk to a psychiatrist or admit that, yes, I've, I've seen these things and felt these things. Like that was a, a big no-no. Oh my God. You know, I, yeah. I would think that it would be just the opposite. I would think that it'd they be smart. Rush. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I can't imagine the demons that, that you guys must sleep with. And, and, oh, yeah. and I can't talk to anybody about it. And even in mm-hmm. your case, you had a very uh, rigid and regimented father. Mm-hmm. And, and, you know, j- as your father, you being his son, he's just like, we don't talk about that. Mm-hmm. So I can only imagine w- what you're dealing with. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.